What I'm going to share with you right now is a very different kind of BNI education slot because it's it's not aimed at BNI members. It's aimed at BNI membership committees. So if you are on a BNI membership committee, you're going to want to listen to this education slot. And if you're not on a membership committee at your BNI chapter, you're going to want to share this education slot with members of the committee because I know how to get more people who visit your chapter to put in applications. It's really simple, it's really straightforward, and it's something a lot of BNI groups, a lot of BNI chapters are not doing. You see, I visited a lot of other chapters. I visited a lot of chapters in my region. I visited chapters around the UK, and I've visited chapters outside the UK as well. And every BNI does things a little differently. You can go from one uh, chapter in, in one area to maybe five miles down the road, and they'll do things differently. They'll have different interpretations of how BNI should work. Yes, they'll still follow the 20 point agenda, of course they will. But there'll be things that they do that, that other chapters don't do. Like, for example, uh, if I went over to BNI Merseyside, they currently don't allow visitors to do a 60 seconds. Bit weird, don't agree with that myself, not the way I would do it. But that's how they, they do things. Now, we've had changes in our BNI over the years, and there is one thing that is guaranteed, absolutely ironclad guaranteed, to get you more applications from visitors, and that's testimonials, but not testimonials as you know them within BNI, no. Not where a member will stand up and they'll read out a testimonial for another member and say, I used John, John's woodcutting services and John was brilliant and he did this, blah, 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 blah. Not that, no, 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 no. I'm talking about a testimonial to BNI. Now you see, I do a lot of presentations. I do a lot of speaking. We have a stage right behind us right now where, where I do presentations to a room. And I've done a lot of training in this and I've done a lot of practice in this. And I know that if I'm doing a presentation for a sale, one thing I absolutely have to have in that presentation is testimonials from people who've been where they are now and have bought into what I'm selling to them and know that it's going to work. If I don't have that proof, they're not going to buy. Because they have to see people who've just like them, who've been where they are now and have made the decision to say yes, and have seen the results. Does that sound familiar? Because that's what happens with a visitor in BNI. A visitor in BNI needs to see other people who are just like they are now, or have been just where they are now, have made the decision to join BNI and have seen results. And that is something that isn't actually included in the BNI 20 point agenda. And a lot of chapters don't have it. And that's called thank you for the business. Now I know a lot of chapters will read out the thank you for the business and the, the secretary treasurer or the vice president will read out this week we've had X number of referrals uh, which has led to 15,000 pounds thank business generated by members of this chapter. When you're sat in a seat at a BNI meeting and you've been there for the first time, the Vice President or Secretary Treasurer standing up and saying they've had £15,000 worth of referrals that week means nothing to you. Nothing. It's a made-up figure that doesn't apply. If they then say over the last six months or over the last year we've generated a million pounds in this chapter or two million pounds in this chapter, even more ridiculous a figure means nothing. Means nothing. You can't get your head around it. How am I going to get two million pounds from this? I'm not going to get that. How, it doesn't make sense. However, if you're a plumber and you're visiting that chapter and you're sat in that seat and then the electrician next to you stands up and says, over the last month, I've generated eight thousand pounds in revenue thanks to this member, this member, this member and this member. Suddenly it becomes real. Suddenly, there's an actual person who I can see, who I've spoken to before the meeting and who I've spoken to during and I will definitely speak to afterwards, who has stood up and said, I've made this much money in my business thanks to these people. 
And then another member across the other room stands up and says, I have earned this much money. I've put thank you for the business into this person for a £2,000 referral. Suddenly it's very, very real. That is the testimonial to B&I. That is the testimonial to say, this B&I chapter works. I get business from this B&I chapter. That's why I keep coming. And if these guys who I can see are real, and I can talk to them, are telling everybody else and telling me that it works, that they're getting money from B&I, they're getting business from B&I, then I'm more likely to say, I want some of that. I want what he's got. I'm going to put in an application and I'm going to join. And if you're in a chapter that says, no, you can't do that. You cannot do that during the chapter meeting. You cannot do that during the contribution section because it's not technically a contribution. It's not. So we don't want that in the contribution section. Stop talking about it. It's just wasting time. Then you are losing out on applications from visitors because they are coming to the meeting. They are seeing lots of really interesting deliveries in, in weekly presentations. They're seeing a really intriguing feature presentation. They're hearing ridiculous unattainable figures of two million pounds passed in the last six months or whatever it is. They don't understand how they could possibly get any of that or whether that's real. And then they see members standing up saying, I've got a referral for this person, I've got a referral from this person, or nothing from me this week, or I've had a lovely one-to-one -one with this person. That's all okay. But if you let people stand up and say, I put thank business in for £4,000 to this member for a referral they gave me last week, thank you very much. That is a testimonial to B&I. That is what sells the meeting to visitors. That is why people apply. Now, we did this in our chapter. We stopped doing thank business. We stopped it for about six, seven months or so, maybe longer. Applications flatlined, flatlined. As soon as we brought that back in with the change of leadership team, it took off again because visitors were seeing the benefit. And that is how you get increased applications from your visitors. That is how you turn visitors into applications. Show them what they can actually get through B&I. It's not about the testimonials from other members. It's not about the referrals, because they're just pieces of paper or electronic transfers these days. It's not about the one-to-ones and the nice coffees. It's not about the breakfast. It's not about the training. It's about the business. How much business can they get? How much money can they make for their time and their investment in BNI? Show them that and you'll get more applications. Don't show them that and you won't. Thank you for listening.